It is the season now we're, we're into May and uh, the grass is starting to turn green. A lot of people, for some reason, I mean, it was around when I was a kid, I'm sure before that, people start fires, burn the grass, thinking it's going to get greener, it's going to grow quicker, but apparently that's not what happens. And what can happen is uh, you can get some out of control fires and get some damage to uh, property. Yeah, and uh, you know, I think there's less of it this year. I think people are starting to pay attention, but there's still concern about fires and, and the smoke and all of this. And uh, you know, we've done some work in the last few days to uh, get some information out to the community. That's right, uh, we spoke to Arnold Lazar, who is the uh, Director of Public Security over at the Community Protection Unit. We'll go to that piece right now. People seem to think that by burning their grass, they make it turn greener faster. Uh, we know that's a false uh, impression, it's an urban legend. Uh, uh, we are discouraging anybody burning the grass because every fire has the possibility of getting away. Uh, we've, we've got documented cases where fires got away and did a lot of damage. Uh, nobody can predict the future and while people may take all the precautions in the world, it may or may not uh, be, be possible. So the only way that you can prevent a, a grass fire get from getting away is by not setting it. Uh, the fire brigade, the peacekeepers are all working in a campaign to try and make uh, people realize this and, and hopefully people will understand uh, and, and respect uh, the, what, what's going on. The uh, onset of uh, bullhead fishing, it appears that uh, people are once again making uh, fires uh, on the island. Um, it's been uh, somewhat of a tradition and we would just like to take this opportunity to remind people that uh, the bonfires have the ability to get away and if they're going to do it, uh, we, they should uh, do it in a way that does not uh, cause more destruction. Uh, we don't recommend they burn tires be just because of the, the pollution it gives off. But uh, if, if people are going to use uh, regular uh, fallen tree wood, that, that, uh, that's more, uh, uh, I guess, a responsible fire and, and, and we always want them to be responsible with their, their bonfires. Well, speaking of fires, Joe, you live uh, pretty close to Johnson's Beach and of course along both sides of the uh, what they call now Recreation Bay, uh, people bullhead fish. That's another long standing tradition here in Gahnawake. And when they fish, it's nice to have a little campfire going, but sometimes it uh, gets a little crazy. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was out there the other day and we had a, a very small fire going and uh, there's concern because there, it's so popular that um, you know a lot of the smoke is going into the neighborhood and there are a few elders in the neighborhood who are really affected by it. So really it's a matter of saying if you're going to bullhead fish and you have a, have a fire going, keep it small, keep it manageable. Don't have these giant funeral pyres going, you know, just have a little fire. And when you're done, make sure it's shut out because what happens if you don't, that's when it really gets smoky. Yeah. So be respectful. That's all we're saying. No one is saying don't have a fire, bring some marshmallows, catch a few fish and have a good time. There's some people though who believe that the bigger the fire, the bigger the fish. <laughs> <laughs> There's no truth to that rumor either. <laughs>